what is going on YouTube it's a boy Billy Kibaki and in today's video I'll be taking a look and talking about the application called Arbis Man for your jailbroken PS4 keep in mind guys that the Arbis Man is in beta form right now so I wouldn't recommend using it but if anybody wants to use it they can definitely go ahead and give it a try personally I wouldn't use beta stuff because it's unstable that's my opinion okay so let's go ahead and take a look at it so I'll leave the links in the description and you can just um, head over there read up about it and if it fits your need then you can go ahead and try it out okay so it's over on the PSX place website and right here you can read up a bunch of stuff about the application we have feature tab we have credits tab change logs and also known issues so in the credits we have a bunch of people that worked on the application you know big shout out to you guys and special thanks as well big shout out to special thanks and also to the um, testers big shout outs goes to these guys too as well and down here we have the application to download and the application is 200 megabytes also in the change log we have a bunch of stuff that they um, changed in the in the build and also in the known issue we have a bunch of stuff that show issues that talk about the issues that the application have so over in the features you know we have a bunch of features that it actually does browser XMB toolbox FTP automatically show on X XMB once the PS4 start once you start up the application you'll see that um, FTP IP address so and they have like toolbox sub menus and all of these stuff all of these things so you will see these once you run the application on your PS4 we also have some kernel dump key dump PSID and all of that stuff PSID yep and partial IDPS all of these stuff so you can if you want to try it out you can download it put it on your USB stick and install it on your PS4 so let's jump over to the PS4 and check it out okay guys so now that we're on the PS4 we want to go ahead and run the exploit so run whatever exploit you have so go to user guide user guide again and wait until your exploit loaded up choose your firmware exploit and we're just going to go ahead and run hen okay as you can see welcome to ps4 hen version 1.7 so let's go back out let's go all the way to settings again go all the way down to debug settings game package installer and you just want to go ahead and install the Arbis man if you're gonna use it if you're gonna check it out or whatever then you can go ahead and install it okay so once the Arbis man has been installed press circle and go all the way back out and you will see the Arbis man right here so let's launch it and see what it's about. Okay guys, so as you can see, it load, loads up pretty well. I would definitely say this is like the multi-man for your PS4. Okay, so we have, when you move the left analog stick, whenever the box gets shaded dark that means that box has been selected so we have browser toolbox um, DKS uh, underscore OS um, we have reboot and video player we cannot select video player okay so let's go and check the browser out okay so that takes us to Google and also let's check out the DKS as I said guys it's like multi-man but for your PS4 because we do have a section like this in multi-man for the PS4 and I'm not sure if you guys can see that those icons are being selected on the left hand side so if we select the folder up top 
we have a little layout just like Multiman. You know, it shows like the USB 1, USB 2 user folder system and the root. So, um, let's see how I can select this. Okay, so let's try let's try USB 1. And there you go, it shows everything on my USB stick. There's nothing in USB 1 user folder okay system there you go root okay so it does work just like multi-man guys this is definitely a must-have application when this release it's gonna be a big application for the PS4 so let's try and close this down okay okay guys as I said it's in beta form so it seems like the application um, froze up so I'm just going to exit the application and enter it back again. Okay, so we now enter back the application. So we're going to check out toolbox now. And there you go, guys it looks similar to multi-man I'm telling you this is awesome so as you can see at the bottom right corner um, it shows the IP address for the FTP and as you can see way down in the bottom right corner you see that word that say trial version okay so definitely know that this is not the complete stuff okay so let's try and navigate what's going on right here okay so this icon with the tools let's press x uh press x again we have enable disable audio let's enable it and see how it sounds hope i don't get copyright okay so it, it gives you that ps4 sound let's press disable uh let's see the creds uh creds show everybody that works on the tester and everything let's go back over let's go over to this blue one right here we have the dump stuff that we can dump kernel dump uh, dump menu spoof target uh, spoof firmware and UART settings okay so I'm not gonna really mess with any of this because I don't want to accidentally do anything so let's see the spoof target okay so that's uh, dev kit test kit and retail okay spoof firmware 9.99 to uh, 5.55 so that's good um let's see your settings we have on and off okay so let's check out right here we have the the app db settings the FS dump reboot required right here backup mics partition write protection and the bottom one is H it's HD HDD but for some reason we can't select that uh, question sign load Linux reboot to recover remove parental control update blocker light okay this is this one is nice um, wipe notifications uh, let's see what's right here light bar okay so what does light bar does we have red green and blue let's try red let's see what red does oh my god oh my god let's try green oh my god okay so I'm gonna show you guys that this actually works it actually changes your the light bar on your controller so I'm just gonna take a small make a small video of this showing you guys that it works okay so I'm gonna select um, red as you can see the light bar changed to red so guys definitely I must have I had it on green before so definitely works okay so I'm just gonna exit the application now okay guys so that's the Arbis man 
Um, as I said, it is in beta form right now, so I wouldn't really recommend using this. But if you want, if you're curious, you can go ahead and do it on your own. So I'll definitely keep you guys updated if this changes um, within the next month or so. So guys, thanks for watching guys. Please like the video if it was helpful. Share, subscribe for more videos to come. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.